hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so today we are going to discuss the octal numbers okay so in today's lecture we are going to convert each of the octal numbers to their decimal counterparts okay so the first question here is that is 14 with the base of 8 okay so uh, you must have to keep in your mind that whatever number you want to convert to the decimal number what you have to do you have to first separate out the digits so the digits here are uh, this is the leftmost digit while this one is the rightmost okay so these are the digits and what i have to do i have to write or multiply this number with every digit here okay so let me write 8 here this is multiplied by 8 and this is multiplied by 8 okay and after 8 we have to add them what we have to do then we have to write the powers of 8 so let me start it from 0 and then 1 okay so in this manner I can convert any octal number to their decimal part or any number any number I will have I can convert it to their decimal one just by writing the base and start them from the 0 to 1 okay so what I will get here it will be 8 with 8 raised to the power 0 is 1 okay and multiplied by 4 similarly 8 raised to the power 1 is 8 multiplied by 1 okay so that would be 4 plus 8 so now I will get 12 in decimal okay so that is what that is the decimal counterpart of this number so that is the answer of part A so uh, in order to simplify or revise the concept here so suppose I have a number A B here with the base of X okay so uh, let us say that this is a number in X base so what you have to do if you want to convert this number to its decimal counterpart what you have to do you should have to write this a with x okay and similarly b with x and you have to start it from 0 and to 1 up to the values where these numbers will be ended okay so this will be what this will be the decimal equivalent of this number okay so that is the concept here and i'm going to uh, use the same concept here with all these octal numbers because here x is equal to 8 okay so uh, when i will convert them here i will get the equivalent decimal numbers similarly now let me start part b of my question so uh, part b here is 53 with the base 8 again using the same uh, scenario here, here so 3 multiplied by base plus again the second number here is 5 or let me do it like let me start it from the first number so the number here is 5 and 3 with the base of Eight. okay so that is the number what I have to do I have to write here 3 and here 5 okay and multiply them with 8 plus multiply them with 8 okay so what I have to do I have to start it from 0 and 1 okay now uh, I can very easily see that this is a number which is mentioned here and similarly this 3 is here this one while 8 is the base here now uh, calculating it what I will get I will get 5 multiplied by 8 plus 3 multiplied by 1 okay so this is 40 plus 3 so this is 43 which is in decimal so the decimal equivalent of 53 is 43 which is already mentioned here this is this was basically the part 2 of my question now solving part 3 of my question uh, or part C so now writing it the same in the same manner so this is 6 this is 7 with the base of 8 okay 
now using the same method here this will be 6 this will be 7 and multiplying them with the base here ok multiply it with the base and 0 1 ok. So, now what I will get it will be 6 multiplied by 8 plus 7 multiplied by 1 ok. So, what I will get 8 6 48 plus 7. So, here it will be 55 in the base 10. So, that is the decimal equivalent of my number 67 that is part C. Now, about part D here what I will have here in part D we have 3 numbers here 174 okay, with the base 8. So, now writing uh, 1 7 with this green and another one with this blue ok. So, that is a number 174 and this is in base 8 ok. So, now writing these numbers again. So, 1 ok and then 7 and the last one is 4 and multiplying them with the base here ok here and multiplying it with base here and starting from the 0 the power of the base will start from 0 then 1 then 2 ok. So, simplifying it what I will get here it will be 4 multiplied by 1 plus 7 multiplied by 8 and this would be 64 multiplied by 1 ok. So, now it will be how much 64 this is 56 and this is 4 ok. So, this will be as 56 plus 4 is 60 and this is 124 in the decibel ok. So, in this manner what we can do we can convert any 3 digit octal number to their decimal counterpart ok. So, that is the decimal equivalent of my number. Similar rule will be applied here for part E for, for part F and for part G let me solve it ok. So, let me solve part G here. So, for part G what I have to do I have to write here. Now, let me start it with this red. So, that is 2 ok the green one is 6 then 7 and the last one here will be uh, let me write it with this color ok. So, that is 3 ok. So, 2 6 7 3. Now, let me and this is in octal number. Now, let me convert it. So, writing their values here I will get here 2 this is 6 ok. Now, blue one this is 7 and the pinkish one is 3 multiplying them with 8 ok adding them and at the end what I have to do I have to start writing the powers of the base. So, starting from 0 1 2 3 ok. So, now calculating them what I will get 3 multiplied by 1 plus 7 multiplied by 8 plus 6 multiplied by 64 plus this is 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 8 multiply 8 is how much that is 64 64 multiplied by 8 is. So, writing them here 8 raised to power 3 is how much that is 512 ok. So, 512 ok. So, now adding them what I will get 3 plus 56 plus 64 multiplied by 6 is 64 multiplied by 6 is 384 
okay 512 is 1024 now adding them together what i will get now let me add them with plus 1024 plus 56 plus 3 so i will get here 1467 okay so 1467 is now in decimal and that is the decimal equivalent of my number which is mentioned here okay so uh, these are all the steps which we have seen for the two digit octal number three digit octal number and at the end four digit octal number as well okay so the same procedure will be followed for the part h so give it a try and uh, you will see that this is a quite convenient method to convert in an octal number to their decimal counterpart okay so that's it for today i mean i will see you with some more questions in our upcoming video see you soon